morning. Welcome back to the Pratt Pack Gym. Some Richard DeAngelis coffee, as in DeAngelis Donuts, and time for a little entertainment news. You know, a lot of homework over the last couple of days, and every once in a while I do a little homework for sheer pleasure. And that's what it has been doing some research about truly the greatest actress, I believe, of all time. Katherine Hepburn, who was born May 12th, 1907. And we have done tributes about her before, but this is a little bit more in depth. And it really started after watching a YouTube interview that the incredible Dick Cavett did back in 1973 on his show with her. It spanned more than two hours, and it was all good. An insight of the great Kate Hepburn that I never knew. And her fierce independence, her high spirit, and how she was an incredible businesswoman, but a remarkable lady, individual, and friend, and definite companion to many, including her beloved Spencer Tracy, who she met and did nine movies with over 25 years. Still some of the best dynamite ever on screen by two people. She won her first Academy Award in 1933 for Morning Glory. She went on to have some major success and some really tough times, too, to where she eventually bought herself out of her contract with RKO, which was headed up by her dear friend Howard Hughes in 1938. Back to that Dick Cavett interview, I've always been a fan of Howard Hughes, and one of the things that she said about him, I just kind of knew. He had a never-give-up attitude, and she said she learned a lot and liked that quality about her friend, Howard Hughes. Well, she went back to Broadway, and she would always challenge herself because she had a little bit of a stage fright, but she knew that it would make her a better actress, especially taking Shakespearean parts, and she did that well, too. Well, the Philadelphia story that was written by her friend about her family, she eventually starred on Broadway, huge success, asked her friend Howard Hughes to lend her the money so she could buy the rights. It became a movie with Cary Grant and Jimmy Stewart, and as they say, the rest is history. And then in the 40s, that relationship with Spencer Tracy, 1957, she won her second Academy Award with Humphrey Bogart in The African Queen. And then, of course, she went on to have some amazing roles after that, including... Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which would happen to be the last movie of her dear friend, Spencer Tracy. She won herself another Academy Award. The Lion in Winter, and also on Golden Pawn, in which she and Henry Fonda both won Academy Awards for. And that is really where I started to fall in love and respect Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda was truly my generation's Kate Hepburn, and I still think is one of the most incredible talents in Hollywood today, and a down-to-earth individual just like Katherine Hepburn and people like Meryl Streep. They're real people with real talent, but they understand the big picture about the world and how we're all in it together. That one melting pot, the globe, if you will. Katherine Hepburn did movies until 1994 when she was 87 years of age. She lived until 2003, and I remember at that time in my life, it was a whirlwind. I was doing television and radio and personal appearances and sleeping but just a few hours a night and constantly on the go and never taking any time off. But I remember the conversation that my mother and I had over the phone about her deaths. And my mother simply said, they broke the mold. There will never be another Katherine Hepburn. And I did understand that, but I kind of took a deep breath and went right back into that maddening lifestyle. But now as I've gotten older and had a chance to do a little research and watch that incredible YouTube interview that I highly recommend with Dick Cavett, I get it now, exactly what my mother said. They broke the mold. Thank you, Katherine Hepburn. And more importantly, I know that she didn't care whether or not her films lived on for an eternity, but I'm saying this now because she's not here to debate it, and she was a fierce debater. I'm glad they are. Have a wonderful day, and if you get a chance, turn her classic movies, Xfinity, On Demand, anything Katherine Hepburn, and I know you'll be like many that we still do today. Say cheers.